गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चों आज हम जो टॉपिक डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं दैट इज स्पॉन्टेनिटी ऑफ ए केमिकल रिएक्शन यहाँ पे हमने एक इक्वेशन लिखी है दैट इज जी इक्वल टू एच माइनस टी एस वेयर जी इज द गिब्स फ्री एनर्जी गिब्स फ्री एनर्जी एच इज द एंथल्पी टी इज द एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर एंड एस इज द एंट्रोपी ओके नाउ व्हाट इज दिस जी दैट इज एच माइनस टी एस एक्चुअली दिस जी रिप्रेजेंट्स द यूजफुल वर्क दैट कैन बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम ए सिस्टम ओके सो वी कैन से दैट इफ आई राइट डेल्टा जी ओके देन दिस विल बी इफ आई राइट माइनस डेल्टा जी दैट विल बी द यूजफुल वर्क that can be obtained from a system what does it mean that the gibbs free energy is a thermodynamic quantity the decrease in whose value gives the useful work obtainable from a system means higher the decrease in the gibbs free energy more the useful work that can be obtained from a system or i can write delta g is equal to minus of useful work obtainable from a system so this is a just background of what is gibbs free energy and what is the change in gibbs free energy okay like in this uh, we write For electrochemical reaction, delta G naught equal to minus N F E naught. Okay, and where N F E naught is nothing but the useful work that can be that is the electrical work that can be obtained from the electrochemical cell. Okay, now we will consider the spontaneity of chemical reactions based on the value of change in gibbs free energy that is delta g so i have written g equal to h minus ts suppose i write delta g that will be delta h minus t delta s at constant temperature this will be t delta s okay so this equation we will use to determine the spontaneity of a reaction just now we discussed that if delta g is negative okay then this reaction will be spontaneous and for this delta g to become negative i have two terms that is one is delta h and the other is minus t delta s so we can write this delta g as a summation of two terms okay so based on this we will determine the spontaneity of any given chemical reaction okay so this is the formula which we will use let us take first case that is say exothermic reaction is there there is some exothermic reaction exothermic reaction we know that for exothermic reaction delta h is negative because heat is released in the forward direction when the reaction goes in the forward direction the heat is released that is the meaning of exothermic reaction so there are two cases a first case is when delta h is greater than 0 and second case is when delta s is less than 0 okay so in the first case that is when delta h is less than 0 and delta s is greater than 0 this delta g will be negative okay because this term is negative 
and minus t delta s this will be also negative because delta s is positive and absolute temperature is always positive so what we can say the both terms are negative so delta g is less than zero at all temperatures whatever be the temperature this delta g is less than zero in this case so when for exothermic reaction when delta s is greater than zero then this reaction will always be spontaneous so like this we will take different cases and here i will summarize here i will write the value of delta h that is the sign of delta h here i will write the sign of delta s that is the entropy change and here i will write the sign of delta g okay so first take the case of exothermic reaction where delta h is less than 0 and second we will take the case of again exothermic reaction delta h less than 0 here delta s is greater than 0 here delta s is less than 0 the third case will be for endothermic reaction where delta h is greater than 0 we know that heat is absorbed during an endothermic reaction in the forward direction and second case i will take again endothermic that is delta s greater than 0 here i will take delta s greater than 0 and here delta s that these are the four possibilities that can arise let us take the first case okay delta s less than 0 delta s greater than 0 so here i will write the equation that we will use that is delta g equal to delta h plus minus t delta s okay now we will see the sign of delta g if delta g comes to be negative then this reaction will be spontaneous okay let us see the first case delta h less than 0 means it is negative delta s greater than 0 means second term is also negative so delta g will be negative at all temperatures means whatever be the temperature this delta g is negative means this reaction is always spontaneous okay now take the second case here this is also for the exothermic reaction so delta h is less than 0 so first term is less than 0 what about second term second term will be positive because delta s is negative so this term becomes positive so positive minus negative so the term the overall term should become negative this will happen when temperature is less because when temperature is less the positive term will become less and the overall summation will be negative okay so we can say that in this case delta g will be negative at low temperatures when temperature is low such that this positive term becomes less than the negative term or the negative term becomes higher than the positive term so that delta g becomes negative so this will happen at low temperatures okay and this is also understood by the lichtenstein's principle we know that for exothermic reactions it is a forward reaction is favored by low temperatures okay now takes the case of endothermic reaction where delta h is greater than 0 and the first case let us consider where the entropy change is greater than 0 so first term will be positive delta h is greater than 0 what about second term this will be negative because delta s is positive so this is a negative term so the overall summation to be negative this temperature has to be higher because when the negative terms become more then only the summation will be negative so we can say that delta g will be negative at high temperature because at high temperature what will happen this negative term will be more so the overall delta g delta g will be negative because delta h is positive now take the fourth case fourth case delta h is positive and delta s is negative 
means this term will also be positive. So both the terms are positive, means delta G will be greater than 0. So this will not be spontaneous, this is non-spontaneous at any temperature. It will not be spontaneous, okay. So we can say this is non-spontaneous at all temperatures. Whatever be the temperature, this will be non-spontaneous because both the terms are positive. So that is how we can determine the spontaneity of a chemical reaction whether it is exothermic or it is endothermic and this, uh, this for the third condition this is delta x greater than 0 and delta x greater than 0 I have written that it is, uh, it is uh, spontaneous at high temperature and this is also understood by the Lichtenstein principle which says that endothermic reactions they are favored at high temperature. So this is how we can determine the spontaneity of a given chemical reaction. Hope you have understood the concept of determining the spontaneity of a given chemical reaction whether it is exothermic or it is endothermic. With this we conclude our small session. If you have any doubt we will please give in the comments we will discuss again. Okay. Thank you. All the best.